when Em strides a course out, she has to really stride it, don't you, Em? Because your legs are short than everybody else's. <laughs> <laughs> right. Seven? Shout to me and you to write our story on a shape the new Do you wanna do you wanna come along? Your foot is a fiddle now, mommy just needs to learn to keep up. And we ain't gotta do something having another little play. We're both a little bit like grab the fun and live it live. super spontaneous vlog. In today's vlog, we are going to be doing a very excited... I wasn't even supposed to be excited, here. Excited? Exciting? Exciting unboxing? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I said we're doing a very excited, and with that excited that we can't pronounce exciting. I wasn't even supposed to be here. No, you weren't. I was only doing a fly and visit, and then Tina said, oh, there's a large parcel in my kitchen. And I think it might be for both of us. Yeah, and I may have gone running down the drive, jumping, and <laughs> clapping. And... So we grabbed a knife, safety first, we um, zipped it open, went like that, and then thought, no, actually, rather than have a look inside first, we're just going to show you guys as we do it. Yeah, because as you can tell by this little one's face, somebody's very excited. If you can read this packaging, <laughs> yeah, I don't know eyes, if you can. If your eyesight is that good. If your eyesight's good, the writing on here is French. So that's a clue that we're giving you to start with. Although, no doubt, this is probably titled. <laughs> no, no, no. We'll no? do a spontaneous reveal or spontaneous, spontaneous unboxing, unboxing reveal. Spontaneous unboxing reveal. Okay, yes. so we won't title this with no. what's inside. If anybody can and guess, can't put it in the description either. Should we give some clues? If anybody can guess, comment below. Yeah. I'm uh, having blue and Emily's having red. That's the clue. Yeah, that's a very good clue. Uh, Tina has already uh, got. I, I, I'm trying to say them or it. it or... <laughs> in in blue, but in blue. they are four. Years old. Robbie oh, got that. them for my birthday in 2016 for me. Yeah. And I recently got something rather new and very exciting that they are going to a comp compliment. Compliment. compliment very nicely. Rather well. <laughs> so without further ado, if any of you have managed to guess what may be in this box, in fact though, let's just spin this box without showing what's behind it. This box looks a little bit too big for what is inside it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, good point. You would never guess. I just want to rip this one out. Da, 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 da. Oh. Anybody else that's very close to guessing, the first letter begins with F. And we'll be putting them to use on Sunday. We're going jumping. I'm really intrigued. I'm not sure when this is coming out, mind. Yeah, exactly. It might be afterwards, but you <laughs> know, you know. Already, yeah, we needed seen them on Instagram. Exactly. And we needed to share our excitement with you. Yeah. Let's just go. I'm not even going to show the old ones which are hiding behind the box. We're just going to go Very straight in there. Should we just do Lucky Dip? Okay. You're the most excited, so you put your hands in first and see what you pull out. You. I don't know what you're going to pull mine out. Oh, oh, good one. Good one. Oh. That didn't give it away that well. It's oh, for me. It kind of does give away what the main product inside here is. Yeah. However, ooh. <laughs> again, we could have given that as the clue because I'm having brown and Emily's having black. Black, yeah. So. But you've never had these before to go with your old No, one. and I am so excited. So I think it's kind yeah, of. Yeah, I think we need to just say. Yeah. So we have been in contact with the English rep of Free Jump. Well, actually, they were in contact with us. Wow. Not we were in contact with no, them. No, I was, yeah, okay. All <laughs> That's right. a nicer way of phrasing it, Emily. <laughs> we were honoured to have been contacted yes. by Freedom. Very, very. And asked if we would like to trial some of their new products. Yeah. Which 
Obviously. So you have basically... Being a long-standing lover of free jump, I was not going to turn down. You've ridden in these on Banks and Saddle many a time, haven't yes, you? Yes, and I have actually always been quite scared of being dragged in the saddle. I know that's really silly, but it's just... I've had it a couple times out on the cross-country course where my spur strap actually sort of gets a little bit wedged with the stirrup and there's a couple times when I've jumped a jump and I'm like, I haven't got time to sh shake my foot to get it off. Loose, Not yeah. that it's been... I don't know, I think it probably would have pulled away, but I have always had that in my head. So this was actually going to be a, uh, a present from Mummy Dunstan for my birthday. So this is actually like an early birthday present. So here we have the specific free jump leathers, which I'm not going to pretend I know all about because I, I haven't know used them. Oh, okay, go on, carry on then. So they've got two sides on them. So you can have super grip. So they're on Velcro. I need to pull it apart. There we go. I didn't want to get the stirrup in there. I know, I know. So basically, yeah, no, you carry on with those. Right, so. These you, are the old ones. So you take them on these and off. These are redundant now. So you take them on and off, don't you? Yeah, I take so. them on and off. I don't ever leave them on my saddle because I get scared because they've got such good grip. They're a little bit spiky, so I always get a bit scared that they might scratch my saddle. Yes. And so I take I, them off every time I use yeah. them. Yeah, there's actually something else that's in this box. So I want to that. <laughs> um, so these, yeah, so as Tina said, you take them on and off, so at the bottom. Um, and then on the inside, so this is so that it's softer against your saddle. And I was told by the lovely Jane, who we've been in contact with, um, that you take this off, that comes off, and you can put on the pro grip ah. on the inside. Now, she said you don't want to ride all the time with this. Uh, I'm going to zoom in on you on that because that I didn't know this. Hey. Tina didn't do her research. So basically, you can put that pro grip on. And she said not to always ah. ride like that because obviously... Saddles nowadays are such soft leather. Not that these are going to mark them, but not, not to wear them all the time. There's a lot more friction than just having leather, exactly. isn't Exactly, yeah. and that's why they keep you more grippy secure. and secure in with your lower leg onto the saddle. Um, so then mm. she said, oh, just 10 minutes before, just swap them over. So it's as <laughs> easy as that. That's so, so clever. I'm interested to feel the difference. Yes. Definitely. So that keeps it nice and smooth and soft against our saddles. What you're going to do for every day in hacking. Yeah. And then, yeah, that is for when you've got your badminton show jumping and cross country. Yeah. Out. When you want to ensure that that lower leg our stays just a hundred percent. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yes. That's fascinating. I really did not know that. I like how thin they are too. Oh, and they also come in small, medium, and large. Mhm. Mm um, all depending on your height. Which are red and which are blue, I'll pass them over to you because um, I know this is what you're most excited about. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so my old ones are the soft up pro. How cool is a little box? Are you ready? <laughs> Thankfully it's the same as the old box too. My old box did that. Uh -oh. Sorry, but I'll let you have your moment here, Emily. Dun, dun, dun. Gorgeous, <laughs> aren't they? Oh gosh, you can see. Yeah, oh. so these are the soft up pro. And the Soft Up Pro Plus, which is the new style, are 30% wider footbed, which, which you can 100% see. see. Could have cleaned mine, but as we said, this is a spontaneous video. We did not know that this parcel was turning up today. And they are used every day. Exactly. Yes. For the last four years. So they're look looking pretty good condition, to be fair. They are looking good. So the other difference, so 30% on that, and also is that you can replace these pins, apparently just by a little Allen key, key. Yeah. which is fabulous. Whereas yours aren't the And you've got them there, across here, and I haven't got them across there on my. Yeah, you've got more of a tilt, look. You can more see of it an angle. more of an angle. I guess that's where it's wider, isn't it? So it's not so much of a steepness. <laughs> and the perfect red. Perfect red. To match something else um, that I saw in the box. The so. safety part is that side, isn't it? So yeah. that's on the outside, and that is if the weight goes into there, there is so much weight, and you can Break see away. there that already yeah. bends, and it breaks away. I love how you're excited by the box. I know, but it's just such a cool little box, isn't it? Yes. What does it do then? Yeah, let's just dive straight into the box, yeah. shall we? Shall we go straight in? I mean, an unboxing. <laughs> With my washing on the line behind us. <laughs> Fly veil, matchy matchy. Matchy red. matchy. It's very red and very you. Yes. Tina thought she'd be a bit different and go for. Oh, let's move on to them shortly. Tina Ooh. thought she'd be a bit different and go for brown for a change. Brown for Banksy. So we've got a nice brown saddle pad. Lovely binding there. Lovely silky shiny. Yeah. Ooh, a nice Ooh. waffle. That's nice and um, moisture absorbent, Ooh, and isn't it? Yeah, and that's going to be lovely in winter months when they're clipped on their back. 
very Easy. very soft uh, another red thing obviously she goes to pick up red straight away i'm not loving having my washing in the background here though <laughs> you're red today i got the summer house over there ready to do filming in ah yeah i'm red today i should be in this holding the red stuff you're gonna need my coat these are so that you can leave your shiny new stirrups on your shiny new saddle so it's going to be ideal when we are about to go away for events i think mm -hmm. because I may have gone to events before and left my stirrups at home. I'm not even. Tina one. may have also left her stirrups yeah, at yeah. home before because I take my stirrups off every time. Only once I will add, for that matter, yes. out of the whole four years. Yeah. So not too bad. Good. Look, left, left and, right. and right, as are the stirrups I oh, will add. No, Anybody that cream. doesn't know, free jump stirrups on the inside. I'm sure it's written in the same place as my old ones, is it not? Inside? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Tells you which side that they need to go on on your saddle. And then you've got to do this to go what's left and what's right. Oh dear. Some people do, some people don't. <laughs> I need to show you each of every colour. No. <laughs> because we do actually need to get on ride our ponies too before it gets dark. The evenings are pulling in. We do want to go and test the stirrups out. I'm sure, Emily. Gorgeous cap. Emily's not a cap person, but I'm going to make her wear it anyway. Tina will be living in that. We know what I'm like for my caps. Oh, that'd be nice and cool. Nice match. You've got too small a head for caps. That's I the know. Only thing. <laughs> and the blue stirrup saddle protectors. What do they call them? Pocket stirrups. Are they exactly the same blue as yours? I don't know. So you may unveil oh, yeah, them on. for me. I think they are. Look, there's a sneaky hole in the box. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure they're the same, which will actually make mine look even dirtier. I'm excited to try them on the leathers. Ta da! Direct comparison. Oh. Be interesting to see how they feel wider. Yeah. And also having that angle. Yes. Might help you put your heel down more. Yes. Mm. Very yes. exciting. Extremely grateful to Freedom yes. for contacting us and asking us to be what are we a free jump partner, partner rider, rider. <laughs> a free jump partner rider that's the one Woo! thank you very much free jump yeah, we you. are looking forward to putting them to the test well and truly sunday if they also have a, another range recently released called the airs which look very interesting and i'm extremely tempted to try them on my dressage saddle because they are slightly more traditional looking yes aren't they they're not oh, why am i showing you an old one not a new one they're not fully colored all the way down they've just got a little bit of color underneath the footbed there and they are metal on the sides and they also can be bought in straight or angled eyes thinking which might makes it to, easier to get your foot how they hang when the yeah. leathers on your yeah. dress are well jump or dress are yeah, but either easier just to slot your foot back in if you were to lose a stirrup so definitely going to think about maybe trying a set of them on my dress saddle but for now we are going all out with the jumping obviously yeah. Super excited to get back out jumping after only doing really dressage this year. So it's been go, go, go ever since we've had like... They've come in perfect like... timing ahead of getting out of venting next weekend. Whee! Super excited about this collaboration. Thank you again to Free Jump for, for sending all these lovely goodies for us to put to the test. Well and truly. <laughs> if you have got any questions about the Free Jumps or any of the products that we have shown here today for you, do pop us a message. Either comment below or DM us on Instagram. We always do do our very best to reply as soon as we possibly can. We must go and ride these ponies before it gets dark. As we said, we've got eventing next weekend, so we need to keep them fit, not fat. Over and out for now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, fast forward. Almost 24 hours, not quite. It's now the next day, Saturday afternoon, and where's the car keys? Last night's spontaneous vlog filming did end abruptly, mainly because we decided, but we didn't tell on camera for some reason, that rather than just show the products in the box, tomorrow when we go show jumping, we will obviously show them in use on the horses. However, unfortunately, when that big box was dispatched from France, they didn't have the stirrup leathers in black, which are for Emily's saddle, in stock. However, a lovely DPD man just literally pulled up outside my house whilst I was sat having a spot of lunch in the sunshine in the garden, because it's nice weather today, again, finally. And I just opened it up and had a sneaky look 
and they're Emily's black leathers and she has no idea. She thinks they're still out of stock. So I'm going to go and surprise her with them because I know that she will be absolutely buzzing. You can see how excited she was yesterday with the stirrup deliv delivery, delivery and all of the other lovely items that were in the box. But I know there was just a minuscule part of her that was a bit gutted that the leathers were out of stock and she wouldn't be able to use the leathers tomorrow. I've got them to her by Speedy Speedy Airmail. So I am going to pop round her house because I know that she is tack cleaning at the moment. And I would imagine that new leathers will want a nice bit of conditioning ahead of being used. So I'm going to take them around there and surprise her. So I thought I'd include that in the vlog and explain a little bit as to why it ended abruptly yesterday. We were in a mad rush, to be honest with you, to get and ride the horses. Typically it did an absolutely massive downpour and we both got soaked to the skin, but hey, they needed riding. They need to be, as we said, fit, not fat. Ready for eventing next week. Let's get going and, um, see her happy smiley face when I drop these off. What I didn't explain was that she'd actually only been at my house five minutes earlier. <laughs> You're giving Banksy's mane and tail a spruce up. So she only missed the DBT driver herself by like a couple of minutes. Yeah, she's gonna be like, why are you here? I was like, the funny thing was, you were only at my house a couple of minutes ago. Yeah. What are you in the middle of doing? Cleaning tap, but actually having a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> just set a pot noodle. <laughs> I just, I left, like, I just ate leftover Chinese. Because I haven't seen you wear them yet. You're like, whose feet are they? Yeah, I was because like, they're a bit big. Chris is like, oh God, they got the camera out. Hiding. No, he's in a good mood. He's not he's naked, it's fine. No. <laughs> Who's your eyes? Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Should have known friends would be on in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Millie, you having a sleepover tonight? Are you? She's gonna have a bath. Before she's gonna have a bath. Smelly doggy. Wow. Smelly doggy. What time do my times come out for tomorrow? Six o'clock. Is that allowed? Yeah. Are you allowed up here with me? Are you allowed up here with me? Oh, good girl. <laughs> she's hyper. <laughs> You're lighter than my Sam Sam. <laughs> Kisses? Oh, nice! <laughs> She's like, scratch my belly! Do you know her belly? 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 Oh, yes. Oh, that's nice. Eek, well, that's just ended up being even more good timing because yeah. we were going to hack this afternoon anyway. <laughs> but we've just been tagged by Esme to do the Brook Charity Hackathon, which is Hack Five, five Miles. miles. Donate five pounds and tag five people on your Insta stories. And that's literally just popped up a couple of seconds ago. So crack on with your tack cleaning then, because um, we might be doing a slightly <laughs> slightly longer <laughs> hack than anticipated. Be to be fair, she did prior warn me, but I might have um, slightly forgotten. Lovely view, but a little bit windy. <laughs> Hence, phone's been in the pocket whilst we've been on the roads or busier roads. Coming up to a canter path in a minute though, aren't we ponies? Em was just saying if anybody knows, although in this light it does look a little bit red, anywhere where she can get some red high vis, as opposed to pink because she can't cope with the clashing. <laughs> it's not a fashion show or anything. And I'm all matchy matchy today. I've got a wolf wear Shiraz boots on and I was like, right. Oh yeah, red galore. Yeah, I come for that and then you ruined it with pink. Yeah, I even changed my pink hat because I didn't want that clashing. But... <laughs> <laughs> At least I might have matched that, I suppose. <laughs> oh, Banks has taken the lead. I've just realised we've gone a different way to what I thought we were going. Oh. I thought we were going along oh, that canter yeah. down there, yeah. 
Never mind. Never mind. We still get a nice one of Spritey's favourite canters in a minute. <laughs> Mine's pricking his ears, looking oh, happy. No. Oh, was. Was until I spoke. What about if we look them over that gate? Oh, oh, they're going to kiss, they're going to kiss, they're going to kiss. Mwah, I love you, I love you more. Emma's going to practice her derby bank for tomorrow. Derby, derby, did we decide? Derby, 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 derby. If she doesn't jump, then I'm going to be falling backwards, aren't I? <laughs> and it's very wet at the very bottom of that. How many miles have you done, Em? Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a reaction. Yay. 5.8. How many? 5.8. Oh, brilliant. And you still got, what, a mile and a half home, I expect? Uh, at least a mile. A mile, a mile yeah. No, I've probably got a mile and a half home. Yeah, we've both dominated this hack. I wonder why. We've done way too much walking and talking. <laughs> oh, train coming. Although they're good with trains, my phone is going in my pocket. I will see you in the morning. See you tomorrow. Ivy <laughs> and somebody else's Instagram account. Ooh. Oh, I was thinking it was WhatsApp group chat, but yeah, it's oh, no. Instagram notifications. Yeah. We've been a little bit quiet on the vlog this morning because we are doing an Instagram takeover, aren't we? Yeah, for Digital Horse, which I know has been mentioned in vlogs before. Definitely, yeah. yeah. If you're not a member, go check it out. There'll be a link in the description below. It's basically an equestrian only Facebook, really. Yeah. And it's a completely hate free zone. It's lovely. It's just a place where you can go and share all your achievements and accomplishments with your horses with like minded people. Yeah, and keep all your horsey dates, your farrier, your... That's uh, true. Your physio, your training. You can even put in what training you've done and then put your homework you've got. You all know I like my homework. <laughs> <laughs> all on one site. And you can also update your competition record, which obviously we'll be doing later after yeah. today. Although I keep saying I'm treating today as a training round. Yeah. Not going to get competitive. Like and I go, did Thursday. Like you did Thursday, yes. Yeah. So we're doing a derby day. I think we've explained this. Derby? Yeah. Oh, no, let's not go down that road again. <laughs> we're not 100% sure. We think it's going to be quite similar to... The, the arena cross country yeah. that we did three weeks ago. I keep saying two weeks. Yeah, But there's no water. It's now a dike. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably spook at that now that there's no water in it. I know. <laughs> but at least we did do a triple the other day for the actual oh, yes. equitation test. So technically we have done our training. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we spent the morning pampering the ponies and sharing all that on Digital Horses Instagram. Hence, haven't filmed much for the vlog, but obviously we did the NAF one recently. So you guys have all already seen that. Exactly. The cars are all loaded up and we're feeling ridiculously organised because we're early for a change. And when does that ever happen? I don't know. Yeah. And... Okay. Em's even cleans her <laughs> car out. Can we all just take note a minute how tidy and clean it is in there? Another positive today, unaffiliated, we can use head cams. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it till we get there. Getting there in time to walk the course and learn our strides. Yeah, related distances. Yep. Got two super clean ponies back here. I don't think I've seen them this clean this year yet, even though we made that NAF video. I think because we've now, oh, they're too busy eating to show you, but you'll see them when we get there. I think because they had a good pamper two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I can't keep up with my weeks at the moment. We've got so much going on for the last three weeks. Yeah. yeah. So now, ready for next weekend when we get them ready for their first BE of the season. It's going to be so easy. Yeah, completely. Right, let's get on the road. I will shut the gate behind you. Time to walk the course and convince them not to put that first one up much more. <laughs> Hello. Numero one. Numero one. When Em strides the course out, she has to really stride it, don't you, Em? Because your legs are shorter than everybody else's. <laughs> Seven? Yeah. We know they can go down these, it's just what speed they do it at, because Banksy likes to launch off the bottom one. But this time we've got to jump afterwards. <laughs> which I believe is two strides, so. Yeah, man has. Yeah. gotta sit back a lot, depending on um, how far out from that step we land. Short two, I think it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so might even trot off the steps, actually, to have more control. Penultimate, penultimate. Yeah, put it down a bit more, like, triple rail. And then a sharp turn. Through the double end, gonna get fit in between that. Yeah, just yeah. slice it on an angle. Got to get that far, yep, you know. Yeah. To number 18. And done. 
Whoosh. Where's the finish? Yeah, must get through the finish line. Look, there. Don't pat and don't celebrate too soon before you've gone through the flags. Thing is underway. Mm -hmm. Oil it well, oil it up, oil something or other. Well. <laughs> Until I don't do this, can't I was you? just about to say that. Slips move, bangs. Look how shiny it makes you. Shiny for shoe jumping. Always like, hello. Do I know them? <laughs> oh, looking sleeky shiny. Although you're quite hairy, we've got quite a lot of excess hair coming out here, haven't we? Now Lola's being razzle dazzled. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter how we perform as long as we look the part, hey? 100% that. <laughs> oh, yeah, good practice for next weekend. Right, Banks, let's get the excess chalk out of those leggies. It's coming out. Nice white leggies. Gives us a head start for next week. Don't know if the back one is proper dry yet. <laughs> some drying boots on shouldn't I? Never mind, at least it looks nice and white. Yeah. About to say I'd love to say my pony's enthusiastic but this is the current situ. Oh yeah, yeah, eyes are closing again. He's a sleepy boy aren't you? It's nice sunbathing. But all tacked up, well apart from the bridle. Now to get me ready. Em's done it the other way around. Oh, and what are you doing, Em? Checking. And you've put them on in the right place? Yeah. The unboxing that we did on Friday, we didn't mention these, did we? Look at the Swish. Don't look at Emily's boots. <laughs> Swish. Free jump spurs. Pretty funky, aren't they? Yeah. Just checking. So them. lightweight as well. They're so, so light. And flexible. What's that again? The something I can't on. remember the proper yeah. name but it's the, the bit, correct terminology so like that it's quite tight but because of it being able to flex now with my foot as my ankle and my foot moves yeah it won't just be gives a little bit you. of flexion yeah so i'll just check and they're a nice size as well the end of those aren't they just little yeah little but Neither there be. should you require them eek i'm not gonna lie i feel nervous i feel more nervous than last time do you Like, don't talk about it. Let's just not talk about it. Stirrups going on. Simples. Like I know. Now I've got my left and the right the right way. <laughs> and the snazzy new leathers. <laughs> Can't whistle. <laughs> looking good. Make them shorter. And Banksy's looking good too. And the spurs looking good too. <laughs> Eek. Right, phones down. Let's get on. You're gonna be good ponies. Ready? Yep. Can't breathe before I've gone in, let alone once I get up there. Yeah. Thank you. Stupid. 
up, still be up. Don't care about the place we found. We'll still be up, still be up. We're in this together. Till we both fall down. Doesn't matter if sun goes up. Cause we will still be high when the lights are. Come on, Baba. You're a good boy, aren't you? You're fit as a fiddle now. Mummy just needs to learn to keep up. Mummy was absolutely cream crackered going around there. Wasn't I, Banks? We started to get into a bit of a flow. And then, yeah, wasn't good. He kept going disunited because I wasn't riding him properly and telling him which leg to go on, where to take off. We were proper out of puff, or I was, he wasn't. And we had three down, unfortunately, but it was still good, it was good fun. And he thoroughly enjoyed himself. He just um, wished his mummy would keep up with him, don't you, hey? Um, M, unfortunately, yeah, I'll let M say. But both of them, you looked at the dike, didn't you? He was like, oh, where's the water gone? Where's the scary water that used to be in there? And proper looked at it and then like fell into it. Oh, didn't you? But you were honest and went, bless your heart. And Lola, unfortunately, yeah, didn't, didn't make it further than the dike. But hopefully she's going to go in after they've done the 110 and have another little go at it to reassure her that it is not as spooky as it looks at first glance. Let's get you untacked. You're not even sweating. If it wasn't 110 and it was just a metre, we'd probably give it another crack. But... The 110 looks absolutely huge. I will insert a little bit of footage of one of them going round it in here now.
Good girl. <laughs> it's a fair few hours later, isn't it, Em? Oh, yeah. Why is that? <laughs> Why is that, Miss Lola? Yeah. Well, are you still eating? You're quite happy, aren't you? Oh, he's eating the hay. Oh, I moved him down so he could see you when you went back oh. down to have another go. Hey, Messy? It's what we tend to be doing at the moment, isn't it? No, it's okay. But that's what training, that we're not, like we said, we weren't treating this as a competition. No. So that's what training rounds are for. And we've just seen a lot of the riders in the water, haven't we? Come, one rider. And have exactly the same problem. Oh, look, somebody else is coming in to do what I did. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So yeah. basically, I don't right. think we've explained what happened. So Miss Lola and I got eliminated at the dike, dike. Where the water is in. So if you remember when we came up here training and they didn't <laughs> want to go into the water and it took quite a bit of assistance and like we will do it. Um, we find now they're like, out. where's the water? Where's the water? And there was a jump into it, which is something that she's never seen. And she's also never seen the jump up the bank. Prior to it, so it wasn't a confidence boost doing, jump. Jump before it or in a good rhythm because we sort of got up that in a bit of a higgledy piggledy. But bless her cotton socks. She did go up the bank, she listened to me there and then two stops. She didn't want to go, which I was then meant to have a third, but I didn't. <laughs> so then I was annoyed and I wanted to try it again. So we waited for the 110 to finish, it wasn't many riders. And like you say, it was quite nice to watch the 110 and see probably three or four experienced show jumpers have the same problem. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, not, yeah, exactly. And, uh, but we've just gone through it, we took it away, we've gone in, we've jumped through it and she's now jumping through it confidently. We went down the big bank. <laughs> that we didn't she feels anything. like she's done the 110 now because she did jump the 110 fence at the bottom. <laughs> we may have had it down, but that's pointless. No, um, confident enough to attack it. Yeah, yeah. there's another like, girl having, oh, that had problems having another go now. But that's what's lovely about this venue, isn't it? They yeah. let you do that. Yes. Which is yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Unfortunately, at BE, you can't have a second chance, can you? Because no. everybody's got strict times, you've got to stick to them, and yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Once you have a problem where you're eliminated, that's it, all over for that day. Exactly. No, exactly that. And that is why we're coming out doing this training and just teaching her that she can trust me. When I say it's okay, it is okay. It's not going to kill you. <laughs> exactly that. But right. it's okay. We learn. We. Oh, I missed you. I missed you. I missed you too. We've gained more confidence again, haven't we, Lola? Because you've learned that, oh yeah, mummy was right in the first instance. Exactly that. I often am, to be fair. <laughs> and of course, do jump it before you go round it, all right? Aww. You're back on the good book now. Yes, well done, Lola. She's thought about it, learned that it was okay. And, and then... she was hard work in the... Um first bit of the show jumping because she was quite spooky yeah there was so there was such more of an audience there than we we didn't <laughs> expect did we exactly and you know he was she very tense she still jumped it all quite nicely when i was saying go and she didn't knock anything she down listened. so well she's going in the trailer the wrong way right let's put the phone down get the ponies loaded up and finish the vloggy vlog vlog in the car yeah. it may well be the next day <laughs> we look we're in the car again and the ponies are behind us again we may have forgot to end the vlog yesterday and we may have just been to the same venue <laughs> having another little play. We were both a little bit flat yesterday, weren't we? Yeah. And yeah, needless to say, we don't need to talk about it again, but no. we went back and we've had a lot of fun in the sun. It's been lovely and sunny again in Cornwall today. Yeah. today. So we'll leave you with some lovely footage here. Yeah. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we'll see you next time. Since when? What will the next vlog be? Oh, I don't know because M's on the ball at uploading about four a week at the moment. Oh but... no, that isn't going to be continuing. <laughs> <laughs> Not now, eventing starting. No. This time next week, there'll be an eventing vlog. Woo! And hopefully, so we will be smiling. I've got my phone the wrong way around, so I keep looking over there when actually the lens is there. Yes. See you next week. Bye.